Indian Army troops opened fire at Pakistani drones and activated electronic counter drone systems after multiple intrusions were detected along the line of control and the international border in JNK last night. The Indian Air Force has doubled its required inventory of air launched ballistic missiles from 1,000 missiles to 2,200 missiles as part of a major shift toward long range high speed precision warfare. The ISRO failed to place a strategic hyperspectral satellite into orbit after the PSLV mission suffered a third stage failure today. This follows the earlier loss of India's first hyperspectral Earth observation satellite GSAT-1, which was also lost due to a launch anomaly. The Indian Navy will commission its latest stealth frigate INS Tarogiri in February 2026, marking the year's first major naval induction built under Project 17A. The Indian Navy will lease four fixed-wing amphibious aircraft for four years, and potential options include Japan's Shin Mewa US-2 aircraft and Canada's Viking Air CL-415 variants. The German Chancellor Friedrich Merz has arrived in India for his first official visit, and Project 75i submarine deal finalization is expected during this visit. U.S. Ambassador to India Sergio Ghor has said that India will be invited to join the U.S.-led Pax Silica Group of Nations as a full member next month that covers critical minerals and energy, advanced manufacturing, artificial intelligence infrastructure and electronics. General Electric has said that from financial year 2026-2027 onward, General Electric will ramp up engine deliveries to about 24 engines per year, that will help clear production backlogs and speed up Tejas Mark 1A squadron inductions. India's Jyoti Global Plast has developed the Sky Hammer Tactical UAV, specifically designed for the precision delivery of tactical grade payloads in contested and high risk environments. India has successfully integrated the 290 km range air launched medium range anti ship missile on the Indian Navy's MiG 29K fighter jets, and firing trials are scheduled for first quarter of 2026, and induction targeted by late 2027. India has successfully conducted a flight test of its third generation fire and forget man portable anti tank guided missile with top attack capability on a moving target marking another milestone in indigenous anti-armor warfare systems. Bharat Dynamics Limited and Bharat Electronics Limited are the development come production partners for the 4 km range anti-tank weapon system that can be launched from tripod or military vehicle launcher. After inducting Israel's Air Laura air-launched ballistic missile in limited numbers, the Indian Air Force is now exploring local production of the Max 6 capable Air Laura. The 430 km range Air Loro gives India a unique high-speed long-range quasi-ballistic strike option against hardened targets such as air bases, radar sites and command centers. Both the Indian Air Force and Indian Navy have already inducted the missile, and planners are assessing large-scale local manufacturing through license production or joint ventures to cut costs, ensure assured supply during crisis, and reduce foreign dependence. The DRDO plans additional test firings of the 4,000 km range K-4 submarine-launched ballistic missile this year, before it is formally inducted into operational service. The missile has already undergone multiple successful launches from INS Eri Hunt and INS Eri Gat SSPN, and now it will be fired from INS Eri Dharman and INS Eri Shudan to verify integration launch dynamics and underwater ignition on the newer and extended Hull SSPNs. Today's top 3 comments.